When I think about Isla, I think of home. I think of a place in the world. We're right on the, the west coast of Scotland, next stop Canada. The Atlantic Ocean out there that just brings in weather and it comes out as fast. It's quite a wild place. We are on the edge. I think that really shapes the place. I think that really shapes the people as well. The vision of the botanist gin is really about distilling Isla. It's about the flavours, the, the smells, the memories, the, the sense of place. It's getting the real essence of what it is like to be here. And so the way we approach distilling and the way we approach flavour and what it is we do and how we do things is actually almost a product of where we are in the world. Isla has got so much going for it in such a compact area. You've got the mountains, you've got sheltered areas, you've got beautiful bits of coastline. There's a diversity to the place you don't see elsewhere. The tradition of gin didn't apply, it wasn't interesting. The botanist is shaped by the people, shaped by the place. There's a lot of freedom for creativity. It's all done by hand, by eye, by nose. It's a working process that people put their hearts and souls into. And there is that direct connection with the landscape. You know, to actually go out and, and feel that rawness and to come back inside, to smell all these incredible aromas, almost as a parade, it is quite a proud moment. I mean, that is it's everything you've been working for. Three o'clock in the morning, we come back in when everyone else is fast asleep, and the essence the botanicals are giving off is unbelievable. And there's something about that that just, just adds to this magical kind of experience where you've got the noise of the steam going through the stills, or the water going through the condensers, and uh, you know, the kind of trickle as the, the spirit comes off the still. Time just feels different, time passes differently. The 22 Wild Isla Botanicals are the botanist's connection to Isla, and it was really a case of bringing these to the fore, beginning to realise the, the massive flavours that some of them present, and using those to rediscover something from our past and to breathe new life into it. It is wild. There's no blueprint we're following. We're doing things completely our own way, and there's something really freeing about that. It's a community within a community. It's a living, breathing entity. And there's always been a commitment to doing things the right way. The right way for the people, the right way for the community, and the right way for the spirit that's, that's at the heart of it all. I think it's about establishing a sense of who we are and, and where we come from. The place that we love, the place that is home, and actually put that into the botanist and people get this little taste of Isla. I think wild for me is just yeah, being out there, being under the big skies and challenging yourself. It's about being open to new experiences, but at the same time taking a closer look at the everyday. It's all around you, it's a case of stopping, having a look and being willing to, to bring it into your life.